Okay, and we are finally live, everybody, so welcome. As you can see, it's finally time. We're going to be doing Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door today. But first, we're just going to let it sit for a second so we can play the intro. Everybody get comfy. I've been looking forward to this playthrough a lot. Ahem. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. Such a cozy little intro. An awfully long time ago. In a strange and far-off land, a big bustling town. It was a town where people lived very happy lives, and it was said the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. It's going faster than I thought. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. In a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Whoa. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of the past, people gathered at that spot to build a new town. Look at that. So whimsical music, huh? But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and then a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Noose there and everything, yeah. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the Thousand Year Door starts here. Just a teeny tiny little cutscene now. It's hard to believe this game is from 2004, it's so old now. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching, he's so paranoid. I came all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. So stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. Still looks pretty good, yeah. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is this town has a very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, uh, well, um... What's she looking at? Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Ooh. I know if the box will open for you, Missy. Then you may have whatever's inside. I'm sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take the box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright, what's the harm? Why not? I'll try to open it. And it magically opened. In any other situation, I'd be saying that Peach got scammed. Okay. I wanted to sit through the intro. It's been such a long time since I saw it. But anyways, I hope you're all comfy. I hope you're all ready for this. Fun fact, this was actually a sub-goal we were working towards this month. And as soon as we met the goal, they announced the remake is coming out next year. So... I guess you guys are getting two playthroughs now. Anyways, I promised I'd do this, so let's give it a go. Let's go ahead and just put... Oops, what am I doing? I accidentally hit left instead of right. Oh, come on, it's one of those text prompts, huh? Or I can't backspace properly. Whatever. Teddy. That's all I want to put. Save settings. Do not touch the memory card in slot A or the power button. Your progress has been saved. And there he is. Our boy Paracarry. His only appearance in the game. Mail call. They remade him just to show him delivering the mail. 
And good old Luigi, he's got his own quest in this game, too. No, there's no Teddy partner in this game, if only. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? That's my mail, Luigi. You can stay out of it. Ahem. Now, let's see here. Hello, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it, will you? Of course you will, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Now look at that. Oh, it takes me back. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. If you change one letter, it becomes the Thousand Bear Door. It would become a much better game that way. You have to hit the button there. That always trips me up. Luigi, you gotta read the letter because Mario can't talk in these games for some reason. 1,000 bears to hug. Prologue. A rogue's welcome. So, fun fact, when I was a kid... I didn't understand. I didn't know the word rogue, so I thought the town was called Rougeport. Uh, excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of is coming to view. Look, that's Rogueport. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. We're going on a big little treasure hunt. It'll be a lot of fun. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Thank you, Vampy. Appreciate it. Now, I hope some of you are joking, and you do know that Rouge is, like, a color, right? It's not just a Sonic character. I hope you don't think that I thought that because of Sonic Adventure. Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have a wee bit of advice from me. Hit that save block to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. I can turn it up a bit. Boop boo Let's listen to these sweet tunes. Heck yeah. Rouge is, fr is French for red. Yeah. Hey, uh, move, buddy. You're, you're standing under the block. Hit that save your game. Heck yeah. Let's go. What do you want, pal? Huh? Princess in a pink dress? Ain't seen nothing like that. No, I'd probably remember a princess. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Owe oh, you money? Or is she your girlfriend? Uh, well, hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know. Right. Now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little ass like you met with an untimely demise. Bah. <laughs> Boys, taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. His name is Crump. 
No, no, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Oof, oof, harf, horf, ha. Out of the way, you scallywag. Move your ever-loving bones. Blimey, a fight? Porkin'. <laughs> hey, ain't nothing so fun as watching some poor bloke having out with his missus, eh? Am I right, mate? Yikes, looks like there's trouble over there. Probably best to not get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with other people's problems in this town, even if I had an extra life. I actually haven't played this in, like, probably, well, like, over 15 years, I'd say. Like I go anywhere with you smelly lunatics. <laughs> Not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? Think you can screw up my plans? For me? Oh, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb Let's get him. Can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Okay, let's see if I can do the stylish right away. There, I got it. Sweet! You know that hurts. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep at it and you'll beat him in no time. Hey. Oh, right. I have to use the control stick. D-pad doesn't work for this. Ah, no stylish. You've got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Perfect. Now, I plan to do a lot in this playthrough, including the Pit of 100 Trials. Okay. You did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Heck yeah. I was actually going to play Pikmin 3 this week, but um, my apart from my capture card broke, so I have to wait for a new one to arrive. <laughs> okay, you got a couple of, couple of decent shots in, I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time. Let's go, go, go. Punish him. Let's just crawl on out of here. Quick, this way. I got the audio turned up a bit. Let me know how it sounds. Phew, what a bunch of loons. Let's sneak out of here. What do you say? Okay, jump, jump, jump. Look at him go. Uh huh. Stop. Something ain't right here. Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, you see them? Did anyone? Ah, crud, they bolted. Look at that. They've completely given up. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there wasn't some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Hey, it's the Pianta boys in the back. Whoa, 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 bucko. What you got there? Oh my gosh, it... Isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? Great hoogly boogly, if it isn't Master Mario. Hey, Toadsworth. I see Miyamoto let you out of the cell this week. Now, just ignore the commotion in the background. The boss sends his greetings. How's that road taste, punk? Are you okay? That hurt. Those jerks. We won't forget this. 
Bit of a coincidence bumping into another one in this sort of place, hmm? One another. Why'd I say another one? So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little bird? Hmm. Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is. Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly re recommend it. Especially if you find your heart points running low. Just drop in the inn. Oh, -ho. Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser? The Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec. This is crazy. Princess Peach sent you the treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well... Where could she have gone, then, do, don't, do, yeah, do you think? I swear I can read. You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Ooh, ooh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella has joined your party. You dare me to say Rouge Port instead of Rogue Port the whole playthrough to farm engagement? Heck yeah, I could. Goombella's abilities. A primer. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rogue Port Plaza. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. That's, uh, Goomther, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or getting mugged. You press X when there's somebody nearby. I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Goombella can give you hints when she answers, so ask her for information often. And of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle, too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk. She can also look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. First off, we gotta find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I, um... I don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Yeah, you know, just a balding Goomba that has more hair than the rest of Goombas. Okay. Now let's talk to people. I'm looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. You find that jerk, give him a wallop for me. That's Goom through the Goomba. Always grumbling about getting ripped off. He must be easy to con. Which isn't to say that we should con him, of course. She had different dialogue compared to the uh, tutorial there. You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? You press Z, you can check your current HP. Can't believe you didn't know that. You have low HP, you ought to go rest in an inn so you can recover. Use your head. Look at that. That guy's a local Goomba. He'll give you advice and stuff, so he's okay. His tips totally might come in handy, so you ought to talk to him as often as possible. As often as possible. Professor Frankly. Actually, I think that a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Just go east from here. As he enter town from the harbor, just hang a right. So, uh, what about him? Did this guy steal something important? From you or what? That's a lazy Dugan. He hunts shady jobs that he expects to pay well. I bet he's never done an honest day's work in his life. What a piece of work. Okay, Goombella. Like, was that necessary? He helped us. 
Can you believe this guy? Probably never worked a day in his life. Oops, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's with your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. Mamma mia. No pasta tonight. That is so lame. Oh, I hate this town. Look at that. Hey, you big old rube. It ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go nuts and attack. Be careful. Live longer. That, that's Goomfrey the Goomba. He looks kind of shady, but I guess he's cool. People call him a fixer, you know? A guy that can make any problem just go away. I thought you just arrived in town, Goombella. Why do you know all this? And again, your whole ability is to know everything. That Goomba will just murder people. Oh, hi. There you are, Professor Frankly. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. Now, you, uh... I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombriel. Uh, it's not Eliza Goom. Hmm. Hmm. Aha! I've got it. You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes, sir. That's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at U Goom. Goo Goombas. Of course I remember you. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though. You stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. That guy behind you is... Who? Mario, Professor, he's Mario! You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. Mario is still pretty hip in 2004. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me? I believe the legendary treasure does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point. Well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however you can. I'm glad that discussion went well. First of all, about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim it's simply an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the Crystal Stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand-year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand-year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct, and the thousand-year door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. And yet, the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Hmm. Humana, hubbity, hubbida, hubbity, hoopida, hamala, huffala, hoofala. Really? You actually have it. Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Yeah, sure. Why not? Astounding. This is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero. 
You're great. Fantastic. Wonderful, even. But this... We can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here? Goombella, Mario. Off we must go this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Heck yeah. Let's take this Goomba around. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? I love the effects in this game. I remember the first time I played this, though. I still like this uh, N64 one a lot more, but this one really grew on me, and I definitely, like, appreciate it as time went on. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. I'm definitely gonna enjoy taking my time with this one. Oh, wait. Hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so, uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands, do you? Of course. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them just once. No thanks, I'm good. A bold young lad, aren't you? Very well then. Down we go. Just stand on the pipe and tilt down to enter it. Come now, I simply can't wait. Let's go down underground. Does she have any different tattle stuff for right here? That's Professor Frankly, head of the archaeology department of Yugum. He's researching the legendary treasure here. I totally respect him. You know the famous Professor Colorado? He was a student of Frankly's. Oh! I didn't know there was a relation to those two. Well, oh, another reason to keep spamming Tattle. That's interesting. Yeah, when I played the N64 one last time, uh, I spammed Goombario's uh, Tattle on everything, and it gave a lot of like flavor text I'd never seen before, so I'm gonna try and do that with Goombella. Save all the game progress. Okay. Can't do too much with Frankly with me, so let's just get a move on. Hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang out with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what's a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. Uh-oh. Well, here's how we get into our first real battle. Because they were hitting on Goombella. A Goomba, a spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that, and you're the one who will take damage. The Paragoomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You have to jump for him. Anyways, take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Goombella. Don't forget that. Why don't we? Head bonk. I forgot that the shine sprites represent the partners in this game. Okay. Oops, no, no, no. I keep pressing D-pad trying to move it. Stylish. Oops, did I do that? Maybe I should get some tattle turns in there so I can reveal the HP. Because, um, you need the peekaboo badge for that, right? I totally forgot about that. If anyone cat calls you, you kill them. Welcome to Rogueport. This is how the Italian man works when, when he comes to town. Oh, we. Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform the first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump them as you go into battle. Okay. We're down below Rogueport. The current town was built on top of this ancient one. Pretty surprising to find all this down here, right? Kind of blows my mind. The ruins here are all crumbly and gnarly now, but it was once a great town, really. Now, yeah, there's no enemy there. 
I barely remember the layout of where everything is, so it it feels like it's a good thing that it's been so long since I played this. It doesn't quite make it feel like it's new, but you know what I mean. Hang on. It's good to feel unfamiliar when you go back to one of your favorite games. Excellent. I did recently end up... Oh, I turned around somehow. Oops. I think I just brushed the stick by accident. Now let's do this. Let's tattle. Stylish tattle. That's a Goomba. Uh, yeah, well, I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. M, it says here, Goombas are underlings of underlings. That is totally rude. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, that's cute and funny. Their maximum HP is two, they have an attack power of one and defense is zero. See, stick snap back. Yeah, that's probably what I did. And now their HP for Goombas is permanently revealed. Heck yeah. We're gonna take our time and do a lot. You didn't drop nothing. You struck first. Yeah, I only just, like, finished playing, um, Mario RPG just a couple days ago. Well, not a couple days ago, but very recently. And I said I was doing Thousand Year Door at some point in the future. And I guess we're doing it already, yeah. I've been in a big Mario RPG mood. Hang on. Oh, come on. You got a mushroom. You got an item. You can use it to use stuff. Got him. Sub goals? Yep. I mentioned that a few times, don't worry. Oops. Oh boy, I stylish, but I failed it. Well, actually, hang on, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, I mentioned earlier that this was a sub goal for the month, and it just so happened that as soon as we met it, um, they, they announced they're just bringing this game back finally, which is pretty cool. Spiky Goomba, Spiky Headed Goomba, what a creative name. That spike is super pointy, so it's better to hit it with a hammer than jump on it. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, defense 0. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Excellent. We're getting very close to the final goal, by the way. That's gonna be uh, a Pokemon Emerald Egg Lock. People in the Discord have been submitting their eggs. We got a lot of them now. I'm sure that'll be a fun time, too. Hang on. Oh. Oh. Before that, what's over here? And thank you for subbing there, friend. You've added it more, or gotten us a little bit closer. It's funny, because I originally was playing Mario RPG. Ah, there's a star piece. I was playing Mario RPG because I wanted to enjoy the original before the remake, and that became the plan for this game now. Let's do it. I do want to play other Paper Marios as well. I've got my Wii copy of Super Paper Mario. Let's see here. Star Piece does look like a revive. Nope. I keep pressing D-pad. GameCube D-pad is not meant to be used. That's a Spinia. Totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, defense 0. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee ya. There is a benefit to tattling enemies. Permanently showing their HP on screen is helpful. Saves you from putting the peekaboo badge on. Plus, I, I really wanted to see the flavor text by taking my time with this. Did you get a prompt for an action command if you get the first strike in Paper Mario 1? I don't recall. Let's just do this. It's gonna use the mushroom on it. Oh! Well, that was lucky. That was absurdly lucky. Let's go. Oh, wonderful. <clears throat> Here we go. My HP is so low to start, ain't it? There's a key up there. Go, go, go. I think I remember what happens here. Yeah. Black key. I matched through the text, but hey, you use it to open something, clearly. 
Goombello and Goombario's tattle is way more useful than like a lot of scan attacks in RPGs, I find. Whoa. Hey, you, can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, uh, nothing. See, long ago an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for a hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention we're looking for crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh, yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. Just gonna not address that, uh, frankly could hear them. Even though we just said only Mario could. So, uh, first you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, key looks like this. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, I know my vote goes to finding that key. I'm sure it, it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you. Oh, great legendary hero. Whoa! Whoa! You brought the key! Oh, man, I owe you big. Yes! Thank... Haha! <laughs> Thank nothing. Wee hee. Fools. Oh, no. I got bamboozled. Not bamboozled. Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you. What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse on you. Buggly Wuggly Woo, you're cursed. <laughs> Enjoy the curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Huh, trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee-hee-hee, <laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then BAM! You're a paper airplane. What a nice guy. The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt, tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess if you get good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. So be honest, isn't this curse just the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Yes, I get it. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Wee hee hee. If you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Thank you for all the subs there, friend. I appreciate it. Farewell, you foolish fool. Wee hee hee. All these weird laugh sounds are making, like, hurt my throat a little bit already. So, uh, wow. Just, just wow. What was that guy's beef? I, re I don't think I could really appreciate some of the sass in this game as a kid. There we go. By the way, like, I did mention this a lot during Mario RPG. But, um, something I want to try try to stream sometime as well is there's a mod for Paper Mario 64 now that adds, like, more content. It adds, like, Thousand Year Door badges and mechanics even in its own Pit of 100 trial. So, I think that would be the perfect excuse to replay that game on stream sometime. These games are a lot of fun. So, they're great to replay, too. Ooh, Mario Goombella, look at that. I know there's other mods for it, but I'll give those a try another another day. It's the Thousand Year Door spoken of the legends. Of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends were true. There it is, big as life. Come on, let's move closer. Hang on, is there a star piece or something behind this? No. Hey, what's the deal with that weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Stand on it. Oh boy, let me grab a drink while we just watch this. Professor, what's going on? 
Whoa. I'm glad you guys like all the variety streams lately. I'm have I've been having a great time with them. I feel like it's only been recently that I've been able to do like as much stuff as I want. I really kind of slowed down last season once I like had that uh head injury. He brought it up again. Everyone take a drink. Excellent. I don't even care too much that I've had a few nights of feeling sick the past week. Hey, check it out. There's a star there. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you learn a new special move. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that information related to the crystal stars or locations has appeared. I misread that and I just rolled with it. And that shining light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place to study the map closely. Oh, this theme takes me back. Hmm. I see. Look at this comfy little book zone. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about the light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it is. Well, stuff like this is better explained by example than words. Would you like to try it out? No, thanks. This is very important. You'd better listen. I mean it. Are you ready to listen? No, thanks. Hmm, you're absolutely sure? Well, all right then. Only like a couple special moves in this game even worth using anyway. Thank you, friend. I appreciate it. Let's have a look at the magical map and see what we can learn about the, uh... Wow, astounding. This map has radar-like functions. It now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star can be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach, really. Her Highness sent this to you, Mario. This Princess Peach, this wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm. I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. All right, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the Crystal Stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. All right, Goomba. Let's do it. No, no, her name is Goombella, and I should show respect. Wait just a moment. Oh, thanks. Forgot about this. Hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. 
What's important is knowing the effects, eh, what effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? No thanks. Are you absolutely sure? This is the last time I'll ask. No thanks. By the way, you need flower points to use uh, the power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP as well. Did you get that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. Okay. Now, one thing I do know about... If you've never seen this game before... Ah, there you go. Remember that. <laughs> I'm pulling another card trick today and making tons of loot. Somebody started tailing me, so I, gotta, I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anybody you saw me here, or I'll bonk you. That's Larson the Bandit. We're all, uh, words out on his scam, so he's laying low here. Of course, he wouldn't have to lay low anywhere if he just kept his nose clean. You think maybe he just gets a thrill from breaking the law, or what? Yeah. You have to come back here so you meet this guy later. Hey, my name's Darkly. I like dim places. Now I'm done talking for now. That's Darkly. He loves the dark. He just stays here in the shadows all day long. Sounds kind of creepy to me, but hey, whatever powers you up. Know what I mean? Star piece here. Nothing else here. His name is Larson. Like Larceny. Get it? I'm done talking for now. End all conversations like that, yeah. God, I, it feels so nostalgic hearing the Rogue Port theme play. Oh, sorry, I meant to say the Indigo Port. Oh, nice. I didn't realize that was there. I was just looking. Hang on. Regular Woodhammer can't flip uh, star panels, right? Pretty sure it can't. And video is now got the yellow circle. Oh, I already talked to you. Let's go. How much do you guys want to wonder if they're going to bring back this? Hang on. So, in the Japanese version, there's actually a body outline on the floor of a toad. They removed that for the English version. People are wondering if they're going to bring that back in the remake, remaster, or whatever. Hang on, you can just barely see it there. Nice. Oops! Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay? You got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. That's a bandit who's made this place his hideout. Seems like he totally loves this place, but would it kill him to clean up a bit? Let me give you some news flash. Even the innocent-looking people in town are thieves. Don't come grumbling to me about losing a little pocket change, okay, buddy? If I hit you. You never steal from an Italian man. What is on those posters, by the way? I can't quite make out what I'm looking at. Here we go. 2004 was a wild time, wasn't it? What's up, bro? Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until three months ago, yeah? A good one. But then the heat came down and I needed the hideout, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? Heh, <laughs> I'm so sly. Well, good luck with that. That's McGoomba, a Goomba. Obviously, I think maybe he's on the lam from somewhere. I mean, why else would he be chilling in this back alley? It's nasty here. Okay. God, this place looks so neat. And front and back of this. A glowing mysterious light under the city. Smells like treasure, people. Graffiti corner. I saw Mario get pickpocketed. I guess even superstars can be taken to the cleaners. Wonder how many coins that fat cat has on him anyway. The housekeeping Goomba. Sniff, sniff. You smell that? Smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star in, is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. That guy's mouse a He sniffs out propositions that might make him loot. If his nose for opportunity, he could do really well in the straight business world. But I guess no one in Rogueport's really cut out for the suit and tie life. Oh yeah, I should probably do this. Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? You two, not another step. Don't come this way. 
wonder how many people even got that. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Oh, pardon me. Squitch. Ah! Idiot! You stepped on it, my poor contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me new contact lenses. No. Look, I'm not letting you into the west part of town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry. End of the story. Can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. Ugh. Oh, my rage is so hot right now. I could cook you with it. That's Zesty, a super skilled toad chef. With the right ingredients, she can make anything. She's like a kitchen magician. I am like a total klutz in the kitchen, so I really respect a chef's touch. Well, you don't have hands, Goomba. Welcome. Yes, welcome to the Toad Brothers Bazaar. Eh? What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Now, wait just a moment. I remember as a kid, it took me forever to figure this out. I'm like, where the hell do I get a contact lens? But you have to actually talk to the shopkeeper directly. Gee, fella, sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right now, but it could take a while. Check back soon, okay? How long does it normally take for that to arrive? I don't act I don't remember. Let's go look at the bad shop while I have a second. God, I love the little cozy environments when you walk into a house. Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Podley's place, a humble little cola shop where I or folks mix stories and drinks. Ah, yes, the cola shop. Quick question: In the Japanese release, is this actually cola too, or is it just, is it just a straight up bar? By the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're wary, go on and relax. I always thought that those dudes were like from the Bean Bean Kingdom, because like Mar Mario Luigi Superstar Saga was like released just before this, right? Oi! Used to sail around and run wild in me younger days. Now I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. That guy's a bob sailor. I think he comes here every time his ship makes port. I don't blame him. This place has totally cool atmosphere. I'd be a regular too. Can't you take a hint, pal? Means dot 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 means scram. Don't talk to me. That guy practically lives here. He must like it, huh? He's like the ultimate regular. As far as I can tell, he's recounting the tales of every love in his life, one by one. Eh, what are you doing? Sneaking up on a person as he sings most jovial uh, jovially. It's like by a certain chapter the contact lenses show up. Okay. Who, me you ask about? Ah, I'm called Flavio. I am how you say, a traitor. The richest man in Rogueport. That's the entrepreneur. Entrepreneur? I can't talk. Flavio. He's like super rich and he owns lots of ships. What's he doing in here so early in the day, though? Think he's doing okay? I don't know, man. I don't know if you can handle cola so early in the morning. That's some rough stuff right there. Umbella is a smart, sassy Goomba girl. She hopes to be an archaeologist one day. Press X to ask her about uh, where you are or about enemies you meet in battle. She attacks with head bonks. That's the innkeeper, Podly. He looks distinguished, always polishing those glasses. I wouldn't mind having a cold ch Oh, Chocola Cola! Whoa, they straight up reference it in this game? Damn, I never even realized that. that okay, that confirms he's basically a bean. Huh. Chocola Cola sometime and listen to him talk. Dude, I missed out on so much by not tattling everybody. He opened this inn a long time ago, so he really knows about the townsfolk. Yeah. 
I mean, I learned a lot from tattling people in uh, the N64 game, but that's pretty cool. I straight up did not even realize that reference was there. And this is a nice inn. The, the roof is leaking, though. Welcome to the lone refuge in the port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. It only costs five coins to spend the night. Would you care for a bed? No, thanks. Come again. That woman runs the inn. She's sweet and helpful, unlike most rogue porters. Your HP and FP get too low? Come here to get them restored with a night of rest. Oh, where in the world could the princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. That's Toadsworth, steward of Princess Peach's castle. He's an active senior. He's been really worried since Peach went missing. I hope we can mellow him out. Oh, don't worry. Eventually, he's going to go missing, too. Here we go. One day, Miyamoto will just call him to the office, and then nobody will see him again. Except in a couple remakes. He was in the Bowser's Inside Story remake, at least, right? Nothing over here. Let me hear... Hey, who are you? Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. That's the badge manager at the lovely House of Badges. For a manager, she sure has gone from the store a lot. Where do you think she goes? The shop's small, but it's totally adorable. She really knows how to decorate. A big welcome to you. Welcome to the lovely House of Badges. Welcome. So, what can I do for you? What kind of badges interest you? Special deals? If you're looking for the special deals, find them on that shelf. Otherwise, stand in front of the badge you want and press A. That's the badge clerk that works part-time at the lovely house of badges. Sounds like he really wants to open his own badge shop someday. Yeah, I think he's using this job to learn the business. Talk about motivation. There's so many things to tattle, yeah. Drop Mario's attack power by one, but we're going... Oh, that doesn't sound very good. Now, I know as a kid... I really didn't understand, like, how to, like, mix and match badges. I just use like, the basic stuff. You really can beat this game with the basic stuff, but... I want to experiment more in this playthrough, but... This is just bad. I'm sorry. Like, dropping your attack power for this is, like, nothing. <laughs> like, why would you do that? You should just upgrade your flower points instead of taking the badge point to wear it. Power jump. Stomp on a single enemy using lots of attack power. Last stand. Drop uh, Mario when he... Uh, Drop the damage Mario receives by half when he's in danger. Now, I know these badges, they're used for, like, um, the like the challenge run of, like, getting to the, the bottom of the pit of 100 trials before Hooktail, right? Like, you want to put, like, all these, all these things on. It makes you stupid broken. Happy Flower. Slowly and automatically restore FP during uh, battle. Super Appeal. Okay. I'll buy one for now, because why not? You need one badge point to use it. Okay, now I should actually equip things now. What's the shortcut for? Okay, it's right on that. Let's just put them on, because why not? A lot of badges do feel worthless when you're young, and to be fair, a lot of them really are. But hey, you know. There's nothing inside Zesty's house. Have I tattled everyone here? Yeah, Danger Mario is really busted. That strat is so funny, but it makes the game, like, too much of a breeze, so I'm not going to go for it. Anyways, now that we've done that, I don't think I'm ready to battle that guy right yet. Hang on, one more thing. Here's this game's Merlin. Power up your partner. Talk to me from the other side of the table. That's Merlin. He's this odd old man who says really bizarre things sometimes. He helps power up your allies here. For three shine sprites, he raises a partner one rank. Okay. Let's finally head down. Let's have a look around over here. First, make a save. Your progress has been saved. Ah, you're the badge person, but hang on, is there one back? There is, okay. My name is Dazzle, and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So, guy, if you got any got any star pieces, I'll trade you my badges for them. You're, you don't have shooting star summit music, but hey, you're still cool. Oh, if, if these are terrible. Ew. Happy flower. So I can... 
usually what I do when I play this game is I save up for the peekaboo badge, but I feel like I don't really need the, to get the peekaboo badge right away. Because, like, I'm going to be tattling a lot anyway, and enemies, it's only really needed for bosses, and I can tattle them as well, too. Never succumb to a first strike. A Mario attacks, causes enemy, or sorry, is attacked, can cause enemies to sometimes miss. Um, I kind of like the idea of Happy Flower, but I only have, do I have enough badge points for it? Because I could also bought that for five coins. There's enough star pieces to buy everything in the game. I could also save up to get the Power Plus, but I don't really need want to use these until we get to like the, um, like the very end of the game. Hang on, you know, I don't need this right now. What, you change your mind? So lame. Like, I want to beat the bit of 100 trials in this playthrough, so we're going to need the power plus for those. That's Dazzle, the star piece collector. He'll trade you badges for star pieces. Once you collect a few star pieces, definitely come talk to him. Hey, but why do you think he collects them anyway? You think he bathes in them? What? What a weird thing to say. Ah, welcome, Mario. If you wish me to look for the item you seek, speak to me from across the table. That's the fortune teller, Mer Lovely. She's kind of mysterious, as you'd expect. She divines the locations of things or where we should go. People say she's always right. And they say she's really cute under that veil. I hear some people even fall for her. All the wizard people have the same names in the first three games, even though they're like different people, right? Oh yeah, people have beaten the Pit of 100 Trials while the game is still in the prologue state. Doesn't shock me at all. You know, is there a... Yeah, there's a Goomba down here. Nice, that reached. Got him. Normal hammer's fine. Oh, didn't get the stylish. Look at that. Oh, right. Enemies drop hearts and stuff. Did they do that in 64? I don't remember. Okay. I'm biased. I like the first two Paper Mario games a lot. They have such great nostalgic music for me. Oh, this. Bloop! Bloop! Ouch, that hurt. You didn't know you were joking? Oh, yeah. No, that's a thing. People have done that using the Danger Mario strat. Bloop, bloop, bloopity bloop. Who just up and whack someone's tootsies like that? Bloop, bloop, somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Would you look at that? Some saucy mustache guy. Bloopity bloop, blue. He's in for a world of hurt. Bloopity bloop bloop bloop. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change your attack order. Your HP drops, you can put uh, press Y to put me in front. Hang on. Uh, wrong thing. Let's just tattle the blooper. That's a blooper, and a really super humongous one too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G-R-O-S-S. -S, gross. Max HP is 12, attack is 1, defense 0. I think it uh, attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down. Then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles have 3 HP. Now relax and house in on that slimy, nasty blooper. Let's see if I can get the timing right right away. Perfect. Oh, it, it didn't hit him. No problem. Boombella is working just fine as a shield. A meat shield, or a, a fungus shield. I forgot about these. Not like it mattered. Um, just normal jump it. And with glitches, you can actually get the Ultra Hammer and the Prologue. Oh. I know that there's some funky sequence uh, sequence breaks for this game, but 
I've never really experimented with them. I'm not really sure if they're the type of stuff that you can, like, fi uh, bump into accidentally. And get my flips. Like, they're very specific with how they're executed, I think. Come on. Look at Mario flip. Oh, we got inked! Hey! <laughs> I forgot about that. You can just press X button when someone's about to throw something at you. And you can make them scream and get out of the audience. Excellent. There's a few glitches only in the Japanese version, yeah. The Japanese version came out like a couple months before the US one, right? Blah, blah, bloop. Defeated. Looks like some seawater's found its way in here, huh? Yeah, that's a health hazard. It's some weird sea things living here too, so try not to fall in the water, okay? Oh, there's a pipe here that connects to Petal Meadows. Uh-oh. Good job, Goombella. You fell after you said you wouldn't. Show us the screen. Chapter one. Castle and Dragon. Title names are very... Very basic here, aren't they? Petal Meadows. Yeah, we're here, all right. Well, here we are. The Petal Meadows, folks. Or, sorry, Petal Meadows, where folks say a cr crystal star hides. Gosh, I'm, like, half asleep. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario! The start of our adventure! This is completely awesome. Star piece. Mushroom. Be taking those. Umbella's dead. She fell and drowned. Whoa. What was that? Don't worry, it's just a giant Yoshi. Whoa, Mario, look at that! Totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. Weird. Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started and already there's intrigue. Come on, Mario, let's go. Ah, the Petal Meadows. A plateau surrounded by hills far to the east of Roeport. It's mild and pleasant here all year round. I love it. Doesn't it feel nice? Oh, hey, Mario. You hit a tree, som uh, sometimes something good falls out. I know that came out of left field, but I mean it. If you see a tree, smack it. There's nothing in this tree, though. You're talking about the ones we already saw. Yeah, bonk that Goomba. If we enjoy the giant castle and the giant dragon, you know... The place is pretty peaceful. What? There's only 10 viewers watching this battle? Oof, Mario, come on. Gotta get your stream together. I got more than you right now. 69, look at that. That ought to bump up the viewers. Close call. Um, does it cost one? I mean, I might as well put it on. Since I can. Everybody would watch Mario stream. Oops. Give him that jump. These are just Goombas. They can't do a thing. Do you think there'd be more people in the theater seats if they, if uh, Chris Pratt was playing Mario right now? According to some focus groups, the answer is yes. 
Do that. Now, which one of these little things here has the secret? Pop you. Oh boy. Alright, let's get this Goomba. Even by level 1 standards, like, the Goombas are piss-easy enemies to fight. Oh, am I bumping something here? No, I'm good. Extend hours of his life stomping Koopas. Hang on, there's a star piece there, right? No. Ah, the Petal Meadows. The scenery's super nice, but be careful of all the Goombas. Make sure you've always got enough HP and FP to fight, will ya? Oh, and you can press C to check your stats, too. Hey, Goomba told me that in town. Ah, I need Koops for that. Remember to come back and get that later. Oh, one more thing, Mario. You ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do? Just press X and use my tattle ability, okay? I might be able to look up some useful info that'll help us on our adventure. The river running through here totally makes the air crisp and refreshing. Hey, and by the way, Mario, have you tried checking the grass around here? Sometimes those clumps of grass hide good stuff, so check them with A. Hint, hint. Make sure you don't get stuck. You know that they probably added that extra Goombella hint because that some of the testers were getting stuck and didn't know what to do. Yay. I don't want you casting the sleepy sheep, honestly, so let's do this. And you can't- you can only ha uh, hammer the enemy up front, right? Yeah, you can. Okay. So I'll just have to tank the damage. No problem. Or that. The timing to get the, the counter is much stricter than- Why did I do that? I thought Mario was- it was Mario's turn, damn it. That was silly of me. I matched A without even thinking. Oh well. Not sure how they get stuck. People will find a way, trust me. Let's go. You know, can I go this way for anything? Does it let me? No! Invisible wall. Pop. Oh. Ah. Uh. Okay. Is it okay? The game seemed to struggle with that effect, or rather my, um... My GameCube seemed to struggle with that effect. Excellent. Don't worry, I'm sure it's fine. We had much more glitches happen when I played the original Paper Mario. The audio was a little crusty during that effect, but it's fine. Fire Flower. Oh, wait, no, the horse tail is in Paper Mario 1, right? Whoa, it's Petalburg! Like that place from Pokemon. Welcome, travelers! Hmm? Where are you, ask? Why, this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we had visitors. We're kind of remote. Yepity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around the area... Well, it didn't help tourism, to put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon, hooktail. That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So, it's called hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. Pfft. So anyway, green boots. Have you ever heard of these things called crystal stars? <laughs> Whoa! Goombella! Settle down! She's overflowing with sass. We're on this quest for them. Very important. Crystal stars, you say? Hmm. Nope, can't say I have. Sorry about that. Might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. 
Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, Mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. Pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Settle down, girl! Thanks for your help. That's a Petalburg Koopa. He seems sort of like the spokesperson for the town. Heard this guy's thinking of running for mayor. He must be more ambitious than he looks. Now, what about in here? That's the Petalburg Innkeeper. She takes care of you when you're hurting. Don't get all proud and overdo it out there. I mean, everyone has their limits. Hey, and staying in an inn will even refill your star power. Doesn't that rule? Now, who else around here? Oh, you guys. Top of the morning! Tis I, Bub Olber. I'm as happy as I can be. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. That's Bub Olber. Doesn't it kind of weird you out seeing a talking flower? You're a talking fungus. You're not one to talk. I mean, where's his head? Is it the flower part or the bulb part? Oh, don't do this to me. If the flower part's his head, then what's the nose? No. No! Run away! Hey, what's up? Gotta say, I'm really hooked on playing GBA games lately. There's this one game that just absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. This kid is a fanatic. All he talks about is video games. You notice that? I wonder if he's finished his homework for today. You know, homework's important, too. This kid doesn't know how big Fire Emblem was really going to become. At the time of this game's release, Fire Emblem in, like, the West was just, like, one game, right? You saw a hook tail on your way here? You sure? Big old dragon, tail like a hook? Wow, you're super duper lucky you didn't see you. I'm not even kidding with you. If it's seen you, I'm sure it would have gobbled you up after, uh, like an after-dinner mint. Must have been stuffed or thought you looked gross. At any rate, you were lucky. That's a toad from Petalburg. He seems like totally obsessed with Hooktail. And again, he looks kind of like everything freaks him out. Poor little guy. Okay. Don't think we gotta, like, backtalk him that badly, you know? Any star pieces hidden in this place? Oh, hello. This is your first time visiting one of the wonderful shops? Okay, I don't need this. That's Nifty, the manager of the shop. You can buy and sell items here. I gotta say, he reminds me of the guys in Rogueport. Yeah, real similar. Hmm, maybe it's just me. Or maybe I should just not worry about it. Game devs reusing assets? Never. Can't hop over that. Make a quick save. Now what do we got over here? But I am General White. I'm a bomb And I have lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. That's General White, the bomb I guess white bombs are pretty rare. He has a cool mustache, too. He might even give your lip buzz a run for its money. Girl, you did not just call Mario's mustache lip buzz. Hey! You, uh, you like Princess Peach, don't you? Hey, uh, well, come on in, I guess. Door's open. Oh, Hooktail lives at the top of that old castle beyond this hummock. Have you heard the rumors? Some say lots of treasure is hidden in that castle. Scores of people have gone in search of it, but not a one has returned. So, what do you think? You getting scared, huh? This guy apparently a total diehard Peach fan. He even collects Peach merchandise. He has posters and pictures up everywhere. Boy, get a life, know what I mean? <laughs> Girl! Hey, Mario, don't tell me you have a secret collection of plush peach dolls, too. I don't. Imagine Goombella just walks into your room and starts judging you. That's terrifying. Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. It is a beautiful day, no? No, 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 not you, monsieur, uh, monsieur Mustache. I am speaking 
to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Abandon this dullard and come away with moi. Ew! Are you kidding me? Ew! Nice wig, you disco wannabe! Take a hike, bozo the dork! Oh ho ho! Sacre bleu! Such brutal honesty. Such a sharp tongue. Well, I retreat for now. If you change your mind, Shari, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. Disco Stew is not coming home with you. Ew! <laughs> I press tattle and this is what pops up. Uh, this is what happens immediately when you press X on him. <laughs> Goombella's got more sass than Goombario by far. What's with this guy, huh? Grosses me out just being near this weirdo. Alright, fine, whatever. His name is Dupree. He's this icky guy who tries to sweet talk everybody. There, no more. Good lord. Good golly. Another babalb. This village is very nice. Clear water, clean air. Absolutely delicious. But this foul hooktail, it's made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. That's a babal, but talking flower. I think he lives in Petalburg. I know he's a plant, but he makes more sense than these other crazy Petalburgers. Boy, the mayor's been so forgetful lately. I'm actually worried the old uh, Gipper might even forget my face one of these days. That's a Petalburg Koopa. He always seems to be worried about something. It's weird, too, because the rest of this town is so laid back, you know? Well, hello there. My name's Koopiku. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh. That hat, those overalls, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're going to challenge that monstrous hooktail. Ooh, if only Koops were as brave as you. That's Koopiku, a local pedal burger. She seems to be Koops' girlfriend. Gosh, she's really cute. And she seems to have a good head on her, too. Thing is, because she's smart, she kind of mothers Koops a little bit. I guess it's a complicated relationship, but then again, what relationship isn't? Hey! How's it going? Um, hi there, folks. Did you come to, vi to, come to the village to look for the treasure of Hooktail's castle? Well, that hooktail is one tough cookie. That's Koops from Petalburg. He's got confidence issues. He's a... He's a cringer, you know? Man. The word cringe has escalated far beyond the, the world of 2004. But he's definitely got a serious interest in hooktail. I wonder why. This, what is this house? There's no bed. The upstairs is just a freaking table. He's so cringe, he's gonna lose subscribers. What about you? Hey, Hooktail's scary, but so is the monster that lives in the fortress near town. I mean, normal attacks are completely useless against it. At least that's what I heard. Oh, and that's not all. Fire attacks, also useless. The very idea freaks me out. I think I remember something about that. I might want to buy a POW block. Oh, I didn't... Hang on, I didn't tattle him. That's a toad from Petalburg. He just seems like a regular toad to me. But I hear he leads a secret life as president of the Luigi fan club. Now see, this is why you tattle everybody. You get their freaking dirt. I wonder if, like, um, the new one is going to have, like... Like, it's already confirmed that it seems like the translation might be different, so I wonder how different the tattle dialogue will be. You better believe I'm gonna do it all in that, too. Hey, since you're here, let me ask, how many people do you think Hooktail's gobbled? All time. I mean, I heard it recently launched or er, lunched on Old Man Scoo, two villages over. And Koops, who lives next door, his father went off to battle Hooktail ages ago. He's been a missing person. No, wait, that's not right. A missing Koopa ever since. What are you saying? Koopas aren't aren't people to you? This girl's got some hate issues going on. I don't like her. That's a uh, toast tea, a toad from Petalburg. She seems really huffy about something. She sure does keep a straight face, though. Guess she's a pretty tough cookie. Yeah, let's leave this house. I don't want to talk to Toast T no more. 
old stronghold called Schwank Forest. Uh, no, it's Schwank, yeah. It's S-H-H, -H, though, which is weird. Schwank Fortress lies ahead. A stone creature lives there. At least it might live there. This gate is to keep it out. My job is guarding the gate. That's the gatekeeper of Petalburg. He's just super dutiful about guarding the gate. But I bet he'd totally run for cover if real monsters ever showed up. I just get a feeling about him. Goomba's intuition, maybe. Maybe. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, hey, hey! It's us, the Happy Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters 3. This village is famous for its clear water, clean air, and one more thing. That big, bad hooktail. We can't wait to see it. Do they all say the same? Yeah, okay. Hold up a sec, I'll stretch a little. These are the Traveling Sisters 3. They seem to go everywhere together. They seem so ditzy, though. Do they even notice each new place they wind up in? Who knows? Okay, that seems to be everyone around here. Hmm? Was that? Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know. You're thieves. Here to rob a defenseless old Koopa. Despicable. Go on. Do what you will. But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Yeah, you don't even have a bed. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends. And my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. This is dude, calm down. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait. You folks looking for crystal stars? Well, why didn't you pipe up before, you, you, you idiot? We're just wasting time here. Crystal stars, you say you're hunting. Hmm, wait. What did I hear about those dang things again? Aha! Got it! Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. It's this enormous, ornery dragon. Eats folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? I may have heard the name. Oh, this Hooktail's brutal. Flyby snackings have all of us pi on pins and needles. So are, you, so are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough it up? You got it. This does sound promising. Why, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? I didn't say that. What an unselfish man. You're noble indeed. Yep, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Murphy. Hmm, that's a fine name. Yes, a fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy, it's Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. You're intent on going to Hooktail's castle. Find the secret pipe near this village. I don't know where it's at, but I know you need stone keys to use that pipe. The keys are somewhere in Schwank Fortress, just past the village. Get them first. Oh, yeah. Well then, Murphy, get going and take care of the Hooktail monster. Oh, hang on, I didn't tattle them. This is Petalburg. The warm weather makes the locals laid back and happy. Wow, and talk about unique personalities. Very individualistic, to put it nicely. Or not so nicely. Downright, downright kooky. Okay, wasn't close enough. She was just talking about the locals. That's Krupp, the mayor of Petalburg. He just babbles whether he's alone or not. I just can't tell if he's really senile or if he's just working that angle, you know? <laughs> Goombella is going to walk into every room and judge everyone. You got mail. You got an email. As you travel, you may receive email from people you've met on your journey. You can read these emails in your mailbox SP. Press start, pause, and access the menu. You'll find none of the things in your gear. RDM registration. One is Frankly. Hello, Mario. Welcome, working hard? Professor Frankly and Eef here in Eform. Blah. It's highly likely you'll receive emails in this like this one when you're on your journey, so check your mail often. I actually have nothing more to say than that. I hope all goes well for you, and I look forward to getting more information on those crystal stars. Professor Frankly. He's ripping stuff up, putting in the garbage now. RDM registration. Direct mail verification. Dear Mr. Mario, thanks for registering with the Rogue Port Direct Mail. 
Your kind friend, Professor or Mr. Frankly, referred you to us. Our direct mail service will provide you with regular timely news updates. We hope you enjoy our service. Published by Rogueport Restoration Committee. An old stronghold called Schwank Fortress lies ahead. Ba -ba -ba -ba. But if the mayor says it's okay, you can pass. Careful out there. He sent me a selfie on his Game Boy Advance SP. Um, excuse me. Uh, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Pardon me for yelling like that. I was uh, panicking uh, how to begin. My name... My name's Koops. Heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. So anyway, I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Well, um, oh, uh, j just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good Goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think that was about? Talk about issues. I know you will, Goombella. You're going to talk about everybody's issues. Hey, star piece. Okay. I don't know how many of the little flip panel ones they put early on. Ah, darn it. Okay, no problem. Actually, you know what I should do is just tattle the Koopa Troopa, because it's a common enemy. That's a Koopa Troopa. They've been around forever. Gotta respect the long uh, longevity. Their shells are hard, but flip them over and their defense drops to zero. And you know how to flip them over, right? Just jump on their heads. Okay, first let's just get rid of you. I haven't tattled Paragoombas yet, but I can do that fine enough. See? We have time to do it next time. It's easy to have turns for it. But I killed the Paragoomba because he had to go. It's not that important to even bother tattling the Goombas, though, because they have 2 HP. Oh, did I finally hit a level? Okay. Okay, it's only the first start of the game, so I think the first two levels should just be, like, HP and then FP. We don't need to worry about badges right at the start, like, at all. Hang on, can I... I can shake the little ones, too. Not sure I get much from that, though. You struck first. One, two, three... Boop. Oh, I... Well, I just failed the timing on that miserably. Oh, well. Now a waste of turn getting back up. Nope, he couldn't get up. Poor fool. Bonk him and bonk him. Only five. Barely give anything, but that's okay. I actually don't know what the recommended level is for, um... Like, because you want to you wanna do the uh, half of the Pit of 100 Trials early on. Like, half of it, so you can get the, uh, the item bag upgrade. But I don't know what the recommended level is for clearing the first 50 floors. There we go, that's what's supposed to happen. Bonk, bonk. There you go. He's got nothing. Six star points. What a deal. Oh, there's a pow block. I actually meant to go buy some, but I didn't do that. Oh, well. That one I have with me should be sufficient enough. Technically, it's like chapter five you want to do it at. Okay. Hang on. Which one's gear? Okay, it's up. Nope, won't open. I could save the POW block for the next ones and just take these guys out with Power Smash. 
Bald cleft. Let's go and do this first. That's a bald cleft. Basically a rock monster with a swarthy looking face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. Girl! Nobody asked! Why are you bringing that up? I mean, look, I got my long hair down to my hips right now, but you don't gotta do that to- You don't gotta do that to people out of nowhere. <laughs> bald guys just don't do it for me. Max HP is two. Attack is one. Defense is two. Yeah, these guys, this guy is rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. Might be best to attack with, say, a POW block. Yeah. But I want to save a POW block. I'm not going to use it on the first one. Hey, I finally got the full thing. Darn. Hey, beautiful. The only thing Stylish does is um, it gives you more, like, appeal power from the audience. Or, like, your star power. But we're so early in the game, it doesn't matter. Goombella is just so freaking sassy. You can just tattle a random enemy, and, and Goombella, Goombella's randomly just like, I don't like bald guys. It's like, no, no one asked, girl. Why, why do you gonna do that? The audience does have a mechanic to them, yeah. Like, they cheer, and it adds to your star points, but I don't really need to worry about having a lot of it. This would be a good battle for a Fire Flower, to be honest. Um, actually, hang on, I should flip one of them first. Save the POW block for further clefts. Do you know why clefts are bad enemies? Because they sound like Cleffa. That's the only thing I need. Ah, I didn't get the timing. Boop. Boop. Is this area with the bushes you can blow away? I'm not sure what you mean. There's some stuff I probably don't remember. Pick that up. Just a coin. Nothing here. Well then. Well, I could use my other fire flower, and I may as well just tattle. It's a big group, so I might as well. I can always buy more on the way back. That's a Paragoomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP is two. Attack is one. Defense is zero. Can't hammer it once it's flying, but rough it up, and it'll totally plummet. Get him. The audience can also throw trash at me. But you can also go down to the audience and smack them for it. Get a lot of star points going this way. Oh, nice. Well, that solves the rest of my problems dealing with the, the clefts. Oh. oh, these things. Remember their face freaked me out as a kid. I didn't tattle in these areas. I should do that. This is part of Schwank Fortress. We got a couple pedestals here. That's it. Still, to archaeologists, this place is a gold mine. Gotta come back sometime. Hey, Luigi's in the audience too. You see that? Ain't that, so, ain't that special? Hang on, let's tattle him first. That's a bristle. <clears throat> That's a bristle. Totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. Max HP is two, attack is one, defense is four, and they're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, its spikes will totally pop out. So since you can't jump on it or use your hammer, you better use an item. Yeah, you literally need, pretty much need, the POW blocks to beat these. You can... You can still, like, super guard and do damage to them that way, can't you? Or am I wrong about that? You can, okay. Nothing here. 
Ah, I didn't land on him. Well, they're both tattled, so let's just take our time pumping the Goomba here. I'm just gonna completely delete you while I have a chance. This is so unnecessary, but it looks cool when you do it. Nice, I got the timing. Okay, I ended it early there. You got six star points. The timing is just kind of coming back to my muscle memory. An inn coupon. A free pass lets you stay one free night at the inn. These aren't really worth it that much, I found. When I remember, anyway. Another fire flower. There we go, got him. I already got the first strike, so I don't really need to use it again. Hang on. The end is already pretty cheap. I remember, like, when I was a kid playing this, I thought that the end costing money was weird because it used to be free in all the ones in Paper Mario 1. But, like, it's also that, like, the cost in this game just feels so negligible that it's, like, it doesn't even matter. Come on. Let me get a drink here. Jeez, it's been like an hour and 40 minutes. Doesn't even feel like it. I'm having a blast playing this right now. Yeah, and heart blocks cost five coins now, or a small amount of coins, depending on the block. Hit this block to replenish all your heart points of Mario and his partner. Also replenish Mario's FP. However, it will cost you the number of coins shown in the blocks to be ready to pay. It's such a unnecessary thing. Just found a shiny low tad? Awesome. Call it Sassy Goomba. If it, especially if it has a sassy nature. Save all progress. This is the Schwank Fortress. Suspicious statue. I'm pretty sure it's a thwomp bust. Hey, I just remembered something I read about this place in a book. Whenever the villagers were confronted with a monster, they'd hide in this fortress. I guess there's a little bit of history everywhere you look, huh, Mario? Hello? Mm. hoo ha You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. If you've come all the way here to Schwank Fortress, you must want stone keys. And if that's the case, you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. hoo <laughs> ha What do you want to do? I'll take you on. Isn't it, like, better to intentionally lose this? Because it makes you do a battle that just gives you extra experience. I think you want to lose this intentionally, right? Hmm. <laughs> You're in for it now. You get major star points for facing the enemies. Okay, I'll lose then. I saved the extra pal block anyway. Hey, hey, ladies and germs! Welcome back to the 65th Super Fun Quirk Quiz. Perk up those ears. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win. But get three of them wrong, and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. Now, for the first question. What's hidden in this place? Picklestone. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. Oh, come on. <laughs> wrong, 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 wrong. You fools. Remember, you get three wrong, you're gonna suffer like you wouldn't believe. Hoo-ha, don't let the pressure get to ya. On to question two. What do one Mr. Softener and one Fire Flower at the shop cost? 20 coins. You blithering meathead, you're wrong again. Get one more wrong and something wonderfully awful happens to you. Just one more wrong. Mm-hmm-hmm. ha ha What's that I hear? Your little knees knocking? Moving on. Question three. What is the name of the mayor of Petalburg? It was... Mopa. The 
But Mur Murphy, he must be Mupa. Oh, ho, ho. wrong, wrong, wrong. So wrong it hurts. That's three wrongs. How awful for you. <laughs> Time for the pain game. Oh, it's the one from Boggly Woods. I'll be nice. Beat these guys, I'll let you pass. But you can't possibly do it. Best of luck, fathead. Whoa, that's rude, bro. Hoo-ha-ha. <laughs> -ha. Well then. They got power punch as well. Can't flee this fight. Get him. That's a cleft. A rockhead jerk with spikes on his noggin. What a rocker. See, it says they're from Boggly Woods. That's the chapter two area. Max HP is two, attack is two, defense is two. That hard uh, head is a major pain. Fire doesn't hurt it, but other types of items are pretty effective, usually. Nothing seems to work on it. You can always just run. Actually, no, I can't. I can't run, Goombella. Ooh. 24 just for that. Yeah, that's that's really good. There's no reason to like not do this if you have a if you have that on there. What? Can't be. How did you defeat my cute little clefts? Oh. Fine, whatever. You can pass, but I despise you. Okay. I hope you're all having a swell time today. I'm enjoying this a lot. Comfy RPG playthroughs are some of my favorite. Hmm. I was a little bit um unsure of what to stream today uh, when I was thinking about plans last night cuz like my capture card I got to wait for a new part to arrive. I was kind of bummed out about that, but we're just having fun with this instead, so it's working out pretty well. Hang on, let's get this. Multi bounce, jump on all enemies in a row. Okay. Extra long Paper Mario stream now. Heck yeah. There's a few things that's probably gonna have to wait until next week now because of this. Like, uh, I can't stream more Rune Factory because I was playing that on my Switch, so I need my capture card working for it. That's a fuzzy. What a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine. Max HP is three, attack is one, defense is zero. Those things suck up your HP and use it to replenish their own. Isn't that the worst? I mean, ew! Doesn't that just sound totally gross? Anyway, guard against them by pressing A the moment they release you. The timing is pretty hard to master, so practice up. These things really suck. HP. No problem, then. That's why they give you multi-bounce, huh? Oh, I failed it. But I still killed him. Darn. Darn. The timing on these things was always... Like, they're some of the hardest enemies to, like, uh... Like, super guard in the game, aren't they? Given a lot, though. Okay. Excellent. Uh, this game always ran at 60 FPS. I'm, I didn't do any magic trickery for that. Mushroom. Let's go, go, go. Oh, another one. Okay. It's only two. I'm just gonna power smash and delete one of them. Oh. Missed the timing on that, but that actually means you can die now, so who cares? Okay, next level. Didn't matter how I spent my star points there, because it automatically replenishes me. Okay, I'm gonna go for flower points now. Um, I feel like level three, I don't need to get the badge point upgrade yet. Because there's still not enough badges for me to worry about it. Maybe level four? Got a moonstone. Another Pokemon thing. 
Now this is where we want to use a fire flower. Oh, Pal Region runs at 50 FPS. Okay, I I forgot that GameCube era still suffered from that. What console generation was it that um Pal slowdowns kind of stopped being a thing for you guys? Listen to that music. Funky sewers. Yeah, I'm gonna get a drink when we just run down this way. Come here, Fuzzy. Nice. I really don't know anything about PAL televisions. Like, they were just like the standard for the time there and it kind of just affected games a lot. Let's take one out like this and Goombella can finish the other. Oh, well that's handy. Yeah, I'm doing a little quick little stretch here. Being good for my back. Excellent. They brought when they brought N64 games to Switch, Nintendo had to mention that you can switch to NTSC. Is there even an option for that on NTSC uh, versions of those games? You guys just have the option to switch if you if you have Switch Online in Europe. First, I'm hearing of it. I hope the background falls again. For now, let me just do this. Okay. No problem. Go Goomba go. Darn. Just can't get it. No reason to waste another power power yeah, a flower point, sorry. Bonk 'em. Shine sprites just represent uh, the, the partners in this game. It's just a weird choice, but it works. Oh no, I did a quick little stretch. Don't worry. I don't know if you can hear my chair squeaking around when I shift. Sunstone. Can't flee this fight. Now I'm out of... Yeah, I am. This is where they want me to have the multi-bounce thing, but we can deal with it for one battle. I should stock up on more flower point stuff when I get to the shop. An evolved Sun Kern. Damn. I want to get at least one Super Guard on these guys. Darn! Not a single one. I think the hammer is more likely to make the background fall, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, didn't get it. Mm. I don't know if Goombella can stylish the same way uh, Mario's jump does. Oh, I got it. Nice. Ah, nice, two in a row. That makes this much easier. Yeah, there we go. She can stylish once, but it's different, okay. I know how to do the stylish for her tattle. Anyways, get everything. The timing's just tricky for her, is it? Okay. Hang on. Ah, it should be okay. Let's go. Ah, the gold fuzzy. Miork? Hey, you suspicious types. This is our place. Coming here is rude, rude, rude. Sorry, suckers. You want a warm welcome? Too bad. Now I lunch on your head. It's at the very start of her jump. Okay. That's a gold fuzzy. Whoa, these are super rare. I'm serious, wow. Max HP is 10, attack is 1, defense is 0. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. I have to wonder, though, how does this thing hide? Look at it, it's so gaudy. Yeah, 
let's get it. Mjolf, hey, ow, you chumps are tougher than you look. But I'm not through yet. Everyone get them. Oh! The bitrate. Okay. Oh, that was flawless. Look at me go. Ah, darn it. I see him fast enough. Now there's 20 HP on that, and I can't... No, I can still hit the gold fuzzy, actually. I just can't hammer. Okay. Hang on a second. If you kill the fuzzy group, um, does it give you more experience? Or can you just finish the fight with the gold fuzzy? I actually don't remember. I think the idea is that's supposed to mess up your action commands because you can't see. Screw it, let's take him out. Not like they can hit me, but they have the most annoying attack ever. Oh, darn it. Hang on. I should just go ahead and use a sweet treat. Show, might as well show it off if people haven't seen this yet. I like how it shows all the crystal stars. Oh, jeez. I forgot how awkward this specific one is to aim. It's like aiming... Almost like aiming eggs in Yoshi a little bit. Kind of. can't get the time in that stylish yet. This is not the battle for me to be trying it, though. Okay. Ah, I messed it up. Ah. Oh. They just died? They just gave up and left? Okay, let me try the stylish. Nope. So I have to press it like A as soon as she jumps initially, and I get the stylish for her? I'm not sure on that. The timing is tricky, I know that, but I'll just have to practice it. I'm sure we'll get plenty of time. Mior, you got me! That's right, get out of here. Tap A when you see her close her eyes but right uh, before jumping. Okay. You can try that. We got what we need. I may as well just spend the five coins. Did I examine this area? This path is the path to Schwank Fortress. The main entrance is just over there. There's a recovery block there, too. If your HP and FP are low, hit it, okay? Let's take him out. Hmm. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> when Goombella closes her eyes before jumping. Oh! I see her blink just for like a split second. Excellent. Hey! Oh, I hate when that happens. I can still do that, though. Might as well go for it. Nah, I missed. I'm not sure if I can even stylish like that right now. Finish him. I'm already on my way to my next level. I wonder if I should just get my HP and flower points up another two levels before I worry about badges for a bit. Just so I'm playing it safe for the stream, right? Because I don't have access to a wide variety of badges yet. Nope. Trying to get it, and it's just messing up the regular action command time. 
Ah, darn it. Can't do that since I can't head bonk him. You got four star points. Oops, need that. That's the one with the bristles. We check that. I think going back and then check things, though. This is the path to Schwank Fortress. The air here is a bit stale, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Listen, Mario, remember you don't have to attack every enemy you see. Yes, I do. If you have low HP, you might want to avoid them. That's Exploring 101, you know? But I don't have low HP. I have Bloodlust, and that's more important. Okay... Nope, I cannot get that timing at all. I have to, like, do the stylish right as she, like, is about to rise from the ground, but I can't seem to get it at all. Oh, there we go. She does a little flip. I finally got it once. Everybody clap, that's right. Teddy Bloodlust. We don't have an emote for Bloodlust. The emote of Teddy Ursa taking a drink should not count for that. The bear is having a nice, wholesome drink. He's not drinking blood. Do it again. Oh, messed it up again. Well, I did it once. That's all I really need to do. <laughs> Darn. I did it again, though, but I messed up the action command. The time of, like, the action command and the stylish are so close together that if you fail the stylish, it makes you fail the, the jump as well. I gotta be careful about that. That Koopa was on the ground, and I put him out of his misery. Teddy requires blood. No! Just because there's a Blood Moon Bear now does not mean that Teddy Ursa wants blood. Totally different things. This is part of Schwank Fortress. We got a couple pedestals here. That's it. It's pretty decent, but this place is actually insanely old. Did you know that? I'd say it was built about a thousand years ago. Yep. What vibrant ruins. Got him. Oh, it's gonna fall. Oh, I missed it up. Well, whatever, take him out. Poor fella can't get up. A bear with a hockey mask and chainsaw. We don't need a we don't need an unwholesome teddy bear emote like that. This is a wholesome adventure with wholesome bears. Let's go. Come here, you. Got him. He barely saw it coming. Oh, hey, a Pablock. I'll just take that from you if I could. Oh, come on. Dude, has anyone, like, ever died from, like, the random bucket falling? There's gotta be, like, a speedrun clip of that happening to somebody, and it would make me feel so bad. Oh, I'm definitely in the spooky spirit, for sure. I love playing spooky games all year round, but, like, for me, I always have a bunch of stuff happen that makes me not in the mood to play spooky games. Lately, I've been doing a bunch of Resident Evil, though, and that's been fun. Those streams have also kind of suddenly been picking up in views on the YouTube channel as well, so I appreciate y'all watching those. I still have the Claire run for RE2 to upload. Okay, let's do that. We'll have plenty of time for more spooky shenanigans between Paper Mario as well. Boop, boop, boo. Give me that. And this path... Is it just me, or is this area darker? There's a few enemies around, so if you feel weak, remember to take it easy, okay? Heck yeah, I will. You can get hit by that, you're in a peril build. Yeah, wouldn't ya? 
Okay, now that we've done that, I suppose I might as well just use up the end coupon. Make space for myself. Oh yeah, I, I still been wanting to go back to Fatal Frame. I played the first Fatal Frame years ago, and I kind of just want to go back. I'll take a rest. Yes, use the coupon. I really want to get more into that series because I didn't really grow up with it. The first game is super crusty, though. Did you sleep well, sir? You'll come back soon. Okay, now that we've done that and we got the keys, let's go ahead and save and also buy some items. I've been taking my time, but two hours to get to... To get to this point ain't bad at all. Okay. Courage shell. Okay, I'm full now. Got a bunch of mushrooms I don't really need, but that's okay. I know I can store stuff, but this is good enough. Okay, then. Let's go over here. Okay, I'm back from a little break there. It seems like even on the pause screen, Mario and friends just go to sleep while you're gone. No problem. I did just heal. Yes, I did. Okay, we're on our way to Hooktail. Um, excuse me. It's, uh, Mario, right? Look, I, um... See, the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hope of getting to speak with you. I have to ask you something, and you can say no, but I'm gonna throw it out there. Um, see, I was wondering, would you, oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail, please, I'm begging you. Sorry about that. See, my dad, he went off to battle Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly, but this isn't, isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is a part of it, I guess. A big part. The truth is, I want to finish what Dad started. For his sake. For everyone's sake. I... Man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby. A weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong, like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but... I, I still want to go. Please, Mario. Sure, come along. For real? No kidding? Yes, thank you so much. You won't regret this. Poops has joined your party. Heck yeah. Koops' ability. A primer. Press X to shoot out his shell. Use it to retrieve distant items or hit switches. If you hold X, you can hold a shell in place after shooting it. After holding the shell in place, release X to fire the shell past Mario and attack. You can even hold Koop shell in place, move Mario, and then release the shell. So remember, hold X to shoot the shell out and hold it in one place. In battle, Koops can fight by your side, striking foes with his main move, the Shell Toss. He can also strike all ground-bound enemies with one attack with his Power Shell. To swap your partner in the field, press Start, Pause, and go to the party menu. He looks so happy to be here. Okay, Mario, let's get going. Oops. Oh, golly, um, hi! Hi, Koopy! Koopy Koo, D did you overhear all that? Well, part of it. Koops, I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail. But you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. He'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Koo, but I want to be tougher. For you! So, I have to do this. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's... It's stupid. So what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about all that. 
I just want you to be you, so don't go. Sorry, Koopa Koo. I've made up my mind. No need to worry, though. After all, I'm traveling with Mario. He's the man. Fine! Ignore me! Stubborn Koopa! I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you. I'll come back to you a stronger Koopa. It suddenly occurs to me why he has to has that bandage on his face. Well, Mario, that's that. I guess no turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. Maybe they don't have the healthiest relationship. Hang on a second. Oh, I just want to, like, twist open this here. Oops. Well, no action command for me. Okay, I got it. Um, I don't want to use a fire flower right away. Oops, hang on. I just gotta... There we go. Get back into the game so we can do this. Okay, that's how you do it in this game. Nice. Poops is going on a grand adventure with us. Ah, oh, one point away, dude. Poops is stylish. Ah, uh, I forget the timing for them, but I think I remember what they look like. Aha, there it is. Let's get that badge now. Maybe I should just upgrade badge points for the hell of it. There are some badges in the castle, aren't there? I won't need a second badge point upgrade for a while, so I may as well just get it. I can get HP and flower points. Honestly, I could just cycle through all three of them as needed. Let's take it. Yeah. I'm about to get another badge anyway. Give me that there. Now we have Mr. Koops. Happy hearts. Randomly get a HP. Hang on, that one's badge. Oh yeah, I have multi-bounce. I guess I can put that on too. Multi-bounce literally stops getting being useful as soon as you get the second, like, boots, though. Because it forces you to do the flip after the first jump, right? And it just causes it to fail. We can just put these on. No big deal. Well, that didn't hit them. Oh, Koops ain't hitting them. Actually, I could have just multi-bounced and let Koops finish them off. Oh, well. I should have did that. Was that an item they were going to give me doing that? I shouldn't have hit them. How about we appeal? Yeah, there you go. I didn't know Paragoomba once makes their wings fall off. Heck yeah, you did it. I think I'm full on items anyway. It wouldn't let me, let me even pick it up if I would have taken it. Oh, come on. How did that not count? Whatever. Okay. Hey, there we go. I got the stylish. It's just right after he hops off that. Ah, Koops, you're trying your best. Is he wearing pants or shorts? No, I think those are pants. There we go. He looks like he's just ready to go for a jog. I always kind of thought that, like, Koops compared to Cooper was a little bit lame at first. Because, I mean, like, it's not even the scaredy cat thing. It's just the fact that he's a green shell Koopa. Like, Cooper was, like, unique. He had a blue shell and a cool handkerchief. And then Koops is just like, yeah, he got a green shell and he looks like he's dressed to go jogging. Hang on. Come on, get in place. Takes a while for that to load back in. There we go. He got a hoodie. It's not a gamer hoodie, though, so it's not cool. It's just a regular I'm going jogging hoodie.
Y'all ready to go to the Happy Fun Castle? I am. Hang on, let's see if there's anything back this way. Probably not. Maybe they should wall it off if I can't go here. I have to look for secrets. Jump, jump. Some of the other Koopas don't even wear clothes at all. Well, okay. Yeah, that's the party member one. This is the entrance to Hooktail Castle. Not bad. There's a garden up ahead. There's a save block here, too. We'd better, uh, better use it, don't you think? I remember, like, it taking so much longer to reach this part of the game, but, like, I'm a kid with, like, not a lot of free time back then, you know what I mean? Hooktail Castle. I believe there's something hidden in this room. So, Hooktail Castle, huh? Well, sure is ominous, that's for sure. Aha, there it is. I thought I hit that one. Come on. D-pad finicky. HP plus. There we go. This is the Hooktail Castle Garden. Looks like the bridge has been out for a while. Even so, this castle just seems so majestic, you know? It's so big and strange. Let's hop on up. No, I don't even know how to do the Flavio glitch. I'm probably not doing that. I did just save, didn't I? Let me just do it, because I picked up the badge anyway. Now we cross. Oh, this music takes me back. This is a corridor in Hooktail Castle. Can't say I'm a fan of the bone pile decor. Don't really want to have my bones end up here, Mario. How about we move on? Oh. And there's just regular Koopas attacking, because why not? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, come on. How did that not freaking hit him? I'm mad. Let's do this before he uses that pow block. Bones, bones, bones everywhere. Ah, I missed it. Actually, you know what? Oh, hang on. Let me just beat this guy up. I love the scream they make. It's harder to do uh, action commands on raised up enemies, I find. I'm not used to it. Oh, that was a courage shell, not a throwable, you're right. Oh well. I have full items, it doesn't matter. That's a Koopa Paratroopa. Well, it's basically a Koopa Troopa with wings. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, defense is 1. I kind of hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course, you can stomp on him and he'll plunge down and he'll be a plain Koopa Troopa. Yeah, do that, and he's ours. Stomp again and flip him, and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. Looks like he can still wiggle them around a bit. Darn. Nice. Some of the crowd leaves when you attack friendlies. Oh, it's just like a stream. If I yell at someone angrily, it'll make everyone leave. We don't want that to happen. Hang on. Actually, you know what, Kilroy? I don't like how red your name looks right now. I'm about to press X button and come smack you with a hammer. And now we wait for the viewers to dip and for someone to clip. Ah, damn it, I missed. Hey, happy flower worked. Let's break you. Leaves in shame. That's right, you better leave. Action command doesn't even matter on him. Get him. Streamer's gone rogue. He's bullying people. I can't believe it. I can't believe Streamer would just single out a viewer like that. I'll do it to the comments too. Watch me. Oh, come on. I was in the air. I was in the air. I jumped. You changed your name to purple? Well, 
to be honest, it's easier to read purple names than red names when I'm in dark mode, so it doesn't matter too much to me. Koops isn't very useful against these guys, obviously, since he can't knock them down. Try this. So sorry, lads. Actually, I'm just gonna go for this. Take him out in one go. Oof. Well, the background finished you off. Many people in chat have purple names. And all blend together slightly. Now, if I go up here, I think it's just to use a paper thing to exit, correct? Better make sure of that. Yeah, it's just that. Ooh, badge. Power bounce, jump on an enemy till you miss an action command. This has a limit, right? And it's also one of the items that, like, as soon as you unlock the ability to ground pound, the game forces it to end after two, which is ultra lame. Um... Oh, I have two left, sorry. I can't read. Take off close call and try it for now. How did that count? Bro, did you see that? Okay. Try it on you. Ah. Timing gets more difficult as it goes on, but I got enough to finish him off. Yeah, should have taken him out, but it's fine. Cheap! Ah, oh, both of us. I can really do about that. Damn, I missed that one. Unfortunate. You know what? I'll just go ahead and use a sweet treat. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I didn't get any any poison mushrooms. That was a pretty good one. I'll take it. It's not a bad recovery move, but it's only good early on. Ah, I meant, I got the stylish, but I shouldn't keep going for it. <clears throat> okay. Easier to just do this to finish you off. Super stylish. Darn it! I keep going for the B button one when that happens, but I should just use the defense option. There's no reason to reflect it. Yeah, isn't it funny how as soon as they give you Koops, they introduce the paratroopers? And it's like, hey, guess what? Koops can't hit them. Switch back to Goombella. Uh-oh. Oh! Whoa. Dude. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever actually rolled that before. Unfortunate. I didn't mean to. Well then. Hang on, is there a heart block up ahead? No, huh? I should probably use one of those mushrooms. That was very unlucky. Usually with the roulette, I just tap the button. I don't try to time it, because it doesn't really matter that much. Oh, force scoops out. Oh. Oh, no! These bones. They, they remind me of my father. There's no doubt about it. It's my father. Dad! Um, wait, what's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least, uh, his bones are. So, what should we do? Should we read it? Um, okay. I can do this. I'll read it. Ahem. I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I'm stuck and can go no further. 
So in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dreaded Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with CR and end with Ickit. Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last thing. If faced with ultimate doom, the Fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already, mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who, you, who you've become. Huh? My son, Colorado? Not Coops? Yeah, just casually introducing the fact that Colorado's dad dies. That archaeologist from the first game. Oops, um, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. <laughs> Someone's father still died, Coops. How embarrassing. If this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. Well then. Then, uh, partners don't share HP, which is good. Umbella's tired right now, but I want the d dialogue. I guess that's a dungeon beyond us. Ugh, there are bones scattered everywhere. Um, mold and dust? Great. You could totally choke on the stench in this place. <sighs> Let's leave Coops out for a bit. Hang on. What am I looking at here? Should be okay. I think I should just use a second mushroom right now. I need item space anyway. I don't want to get caught off guard by something silly. Blarf, harf, harf. You clearly don't value your lives much if you come to this castle to disturb us. You will go no further. And from this moment on, you will be nothing but bones. Oh. Well. Oh no, the game's chugging. What are they doing? Ouch, it's no use, Mario. They're all over me, man. What should we do? Hold on. I need to tattle you. This is more important than surviving. Can't flee this fight. Red bones. That's a red bones. A little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know? Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 1. Unlike your average dull bones, even if you pound it to 0 HP and it crumbles, it totally might revive, like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the dull bones, then attack the red bones. Oh, one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. Okay. Did they have enough HP for this? Ah, screw it, let's use it. Ah, it's good. The background's just gone now. Umbella's fine. What are y'all worried about? Come on out, Coops. Ah, uh, that won't work. If you kill a mini boss, like a one time mini boss, and you can't tattle it, um, you can actually find the tattle log entry in, um, Frankly's garbage can. It's a funny little mechanic a lot of people miss. Okay. Hope you're all enjoying this playthrough so far. I'm having a great time. Let's see. Certainly makes up the fact my capture card might be a little longer to get replaced. Or the part I need. One, two, three. Boop! Only one HP they have. Okay. Toss that much, huh? Fine. Excellent. Very comfy and cozy. Heck yeah. Definitely want to do some more of it soon. I think, though, I'm probably going to take tomorrow off to do some stuff. And maybe on Friday I can do another long stream of this. Because I have so much stuff, like, recorded ahead. Yeah, you can actually get a lot of grinding done if you let the bones just make more stuff, don't you? In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kill this one. I'm going to switch to Goombella. And then we'll go ahead and just tattle them. She is fine. She's fine. Don't worry. 
That's a dull bones. Sort of a skeleton thing. It was a Koopa Troopa. Once. Max HP is one, attack is two, defense is one. These creeps throw bones to attack, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple dull bones at once are the most effective. I add the tattle. I add the tattle. If I can, I'll probably get this uploaded tomorrow. I have quite a few other longer streams I still need to get rendered. But, uh, this one will probably, uh, <laughs> perform pretty well this week, so I may as well get it uploaded first. Hang on. Hang on. I've got, like, an almost nine-hour stream of the DL of the Pokemon DLC I played, and I just need to find the time to let that render and upload. As you can imagine, it takes a long time for something of that length to get done. Hang on. Well, then, I messed that up. A two, go too early. No problem. HP comes back. Hang on. Give me a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Six star points. Hang on. Got a shine sprite. Collecting these will help. Let's go ahead and let Koops go around until we find ourselves the heart block. Okay, that's that there. And that doesn't work because this is like that. Hold up. First, I want to see what happens when I do this. Okay, this goes to this, which is just a star piece. There we go. And now, hold up, bring that down. Kick this right here. Okay. I don't remember if there's any point to coming back to breaking the stone blocks with the better hammer. Hang on. Don't think that works there. Okay, I can make the jump. Just making sure. I'm loading up on star pieces, at least. Is there anything over here? What's even the point of walking that way? Oh, to fall down for that key. No, I just get the key by going over there. I see, never mind. Get him, Koops. Whoa, the stairs flopped over there. I'm worried one of these little effects is going to break the game and make a crash. Got a castle key. Heck yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, I got really into playing Rune Factory the, the previous week, but, uh, unfortunately we'll have to wait a little bit for another long episode of that. What am I doing? I don't need to mess with these anymore. Let's go. This week made me realize just how many games I wanted to play that I need my capture card for. But oh well. And... Any of these guys gonna get up? Let's go ahead and tattle the room. This is Hooktail Castle. You feel that upward-moving draft here? Wow, sure is a big castle. Who do you think built it? So many questions. Some of the dialogue felt like they just did not want to write it. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I ordered some backup parts this time. Don't worry. Just in case that happens again. Yeah, I should fall down and see if there's anything there on the way back. Excellent. Door is locked. Okay, I can't get that yet. Which means I gotta fall down. Is there something behind this? No. I guess I move forward for now, then. You struck first. Yes, I did. I'm gonna stomp some Koopas. Unfortunately, Koops is not meant for this. The double jump doesn't even matter there. It's fine. Not like that matters. The Shine Sprite is, um... It recovers everything, I think. The Shine Sprite's like the best possible roll. 
Let's do this. Make him fall out of the air. Excellent. Excellent. There we go. Yeah. There was one thing I was looking forward to maybe streaming soon, but I'll have to wait on it now. Um, I wanted to play the Resident Evil 4 DLC, but, um... Because I have that on PlayStation 5, right? I could buy the PC version and the DLC on that, but, like, do I really want to, like, spend that much money for one stream? Or do I want to just wait, like, a few extra days? I think the choice is pretty obvious there, especially since, like, you know... The, the newer Resident Evils get, like, easily demonetized because the level of violence in them anyway. Okay. So I'll enjoy it on my day off, and we can do a stream of it, like, next week. Hang on. Other than that, we can wait. Excellent. It just so happened before um, it broke, though, I got, like, a nearly five-hour stream done for Rune Factory and uploaded that. It's because there was, like, supposed to be, like, a hurricane over the weekend, but it ended up just being downgraded to a tropical storm. Oh, why'd I do that? Koops can't hit the Paragoomba. Silly me. Hold up. May as well just do that. Excellent. Punk stream sometime. Oh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Four star points. Hell yes. Alrighty. There's the badge I need. Let's go get this over here. Quick question, I'm wondering. Oh, what am I doing? I just hit it normally. Hang on, it closes by itself? Yeah, it does. How many of you equipped it, uh, equipped the uh, cricket badge and then you left it on for the rest of the game? I did that all the time as a kid. I'm not gonna do it for this playthrough, don't worry, because that's probably gonna be annoying as hell. What the heck? Hey, guess. It's been a long time since anybody came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me? Wow. Wait a sec. You can hear my voice? You must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm not- I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is fun zinging people with that whole legendary hero bit. Hey, but seriously, folks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous. Who would do that? Really? Wait in a box and curse folks? A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I would do no such thing. That should be obvious. Well, maybe this time it'll be okay. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little, I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you really don't want to. Like, finding a black key is hard. Hang on. This is a black chest. Wonder what's inside it. These are the dungeons of Hooktail Castle. I don't think they're in use, but yuck. Hey, you know, I was meaning to ask, have you mastered Koop's hold move yet? When Koops is with you, just press and hold X to make his shell stop ahead of you. You can even move around while it stays there. Try it on a different area. Just in case you haven't figured out how to do the puzzle. Oh, this room. Oh, what am I doing? This is perfect place to tattle with her. What a totally weird room. There's just gotta be something hidden here. And again, every room in the castle is totally weird. Does she say anything different when uh, stuff happens? Mario, look at that. Uh-oh. Oh, this isn't good. Hurry, run for it. What a totally weird room. Ah, oh, it's the same thing. Okay. And there's a bombable wall there they just put there for you to come back, like, several hours later into the game. Did I just go around like an idiot? Oh, what the hell am I doing? I'm sorry, I did not even see what I was doing. Good thing you have, like, a crap ton of time to do this, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh no, it's gonna get us! It's gonna get me! Man, that was too close. Gotta shake it off. Ooh, okay, we got the key, so let's open that spooky chest. 
Get Goombella to comment on it again. Hey there, boy, am I so glad you found that key. Unbelievable. Wee hee hee hee. Fools. Why, only the most idiotic pudding brain dolt would fall for a scheme like that. The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse, no charge. Oogly googly boo. Man, Mario got pranked again. He never learns. Wee hee hee. Now you're cursed, doofus, and it serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curse-worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. For this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold R. Wee hee hee. What a curse. Who curses like me? No one. Now I shall show you just how frightful a curse is. Press and hold R. Press and hold R now. You idiot. Press and hold R. I, I did. Press and hold R and be ashamed. Wee hee hee. Just look at yourself. How embarrassing for you. Eat a sandwich, skinny. Hee <laughs> hee. Do you understand what this curse means for you? Yes. Then farewell, you dumbbells. <laughs> Bamboozled again. Nothing new to say, Goombella? Now you can get out. Okay. So now that I got this... This makes Mario... Mario's hammer sounds like a cricket, which is going to be useful during the boss fight. I'll take it off after that, though. Don't worry. I'm not going to wear it the whole playthrough. I didn't get a key from that, did I? No, I didn't. I guess that means I have to go back now and use this, use this new ability. Maybe Mario will learn next time. Do you think he will? Mario gets a Metroidvania ability just by freaking, like, oh, getting cursed. I don't think crickets actually sound like that, though. Right, there's the key. And is there anything on this side? No. This game doesn't have ridiculous hidden blocks like Mario RPG does, I'm pretty sure. Let's go, go, go. I haven't seen a heart block since we got here. I kind of thought there was one early on, but I guess not. Listen to that noise. The cricket sounds. Ooh, ooh, ha, ooh, ha, ooh. Are there hidden blocks? There are some. I know that Paper Mario 1 had them. You needed to use Watt to see them, right? Am I going to come back for all the hidden pan panels? I don't think I'm going to 100% the star pieces. That's not really necessary. But I am going to do stuff like the Pit of 100 Trials and all that. I just need to pick up enough star pieces for it to um, make sure I get all the good badges at least. Oh, there it is. Perfect. I think this affects everybody. Let's just do this. Hang on. Yeah, he's at full HP too, so I guess. This must be the Great Hall and Hooktail Castle. I'd say it's the center of the castle. This place is so full of traps and dangers, it's kind of hard to get around, huh? We could just walk to a window and look at the sky. That might clear our heads. Hey, wait a minute. I know what you're insinuating. Also, I can see a star piece there. Getting all the star pieces in Paper Mario 64 is obnoxious as hell. Because I'm pretty sure, like, a good chunk of them you only get from a, from the quiz guy. But the quiz guy shows up randomly. And, I'm, and like, uh, there's so freaking many of them, the game expects you to be doing the quiz, like, non-stop every time you see them. But no one does that. So it becomes a massive grind in post-game to do it. Now let's just hop out the window and climb back in. Time for the goom. Thank you for the raid there, friend. Appreciate it. 
This is Hooktail Castle. There's an upward moving draft in this room, too. Of course, tons of bones lying around, too. This place needs a decorator stat. You never know which bones are going to attack you, so be careful where you walk, okay? Oh, and if you want to ride that green block, remember, Koops is the man. Give me a hit. No, oh, friend, thank you very much. Appreciate it. The cricket sound. Hit him with a cricket bat. Excellent. I can still hit me, even though I've already won the battle. Level up's around the corner. I feel like I should just get my HP to 20. Having your HP at 20 is pretty good for, like, the first couple chapters, I feel. And then you can just focus on flower points and badge points. Nothing else here. Let's do this. Okay. Oops. Fell down. That's a goom. Okay, I hit him in the middle of the change animation, so it slowed it down a bit. Didn't realize that could happen. Okay, let's get him. Still not as bad as finding all the Korok seeds. Yeah, true. At least the star pieces can get you the good badges. Mamma mia, that's a stylish backflip. 20 more star, uh, star pieces to go. Or star points. What am I saying? It looks like I'm going to be able to beat this chapter in a timely manner. I don't remember how long some of the other chapters can get, though. Maybe next stream I could do chapter 2 and 3 in one go. We'll see. Because today I did the prologue in chapter 1 at this rate. Let's go, go, go. Hang on. That one, yeah, that one's locked. Now, what about over here? Oh, right. This is where you show up. Huh? Oh, my. Who's this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Who, who are you? Me? Why, I'm Miss Mouse, the globe-trotting thief. Heard of me, sweetie? Heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming in such a rundown place? Why, I'll tell you why, Miss Ugly Pink Shoe Whatever Thief. We're here to beat Hooktail. And just so we're clear on this, we set our sights on the Crystal Star before you, okay? Crystal Star, you say? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds in sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Shoot. Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for the Crystal Star first. And I already found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get your Crystal Star. Let us? Let us! What's that supposed to mean? Mm-hmm. It means I must say bye-bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know. It's sad. We just met. It's already time to say farewell. Alas. Hey, you little flirt. Who do you think you are kissing Mario? Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that'll help you best hooktail. Or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already. Maybe not. If you're going to fight Hooktail, I'd recommend finding that badge first. Well, take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together again real soon. What is with that girl? What a flirt. Who acts so disgusting like that? I think she's jealous. This is Hooktail's treasure room. Miss Mouse was looking for something in here, but I don't think there's anything left. Uh... Do you not see the chests and block? But okay. Mushroom. Castle key. Shine sprite. The last one now. Honey syrup. It's only been sitting here for an eternity. Uh, 
Okay, that covers all that. Come on, Goom. Any... There you go. Mmm, aged honey. Do you think any Teddy Ursus could go wandering in here looking for that honey? I hope not. Let's go ahead and take you out. If the Dry Bones wants to summon more friends, that's just good for me. Mamma mia! Look at those flips. Oh, darn it. I missed the A input. No problem. Take him out. If you use honey, there's a small chance it could bring a Teddy Ursa into the battle. Super secret game uh, Easter egg that no one knows about except for me. Darn it. I tried to hammer, but didn't get it. No problem, though. Hmm. Coops can't flip people over, so they'll still have the defense, which is annoying. Hmm. Let's just take you out while we have a chance. Teddy Ursus has got standards. They, all, they always want fresh honey. True. Now, will this put your defense at zero when you're flipped? Nope. That's annoying. Let's just do this for now. Come on. Stylish. What is that? Oh, they're throwing a coin. You got a coin. Let's just power smash him then while this falls apart. Only one. Okay, it wore off. Heck yeah, they're tossing up tossing us some money for the honey. Koops is powerful. He's more powerful than re all the regular Koopa Troopas. Got like more than twice their HP too. What is he afraid of? When I pick up a heart, does it add to the, the party member's HP as well? Actually, don't know. Yes, okay, good. Uh, actually, you know what? First, let's just jump on one of them. Perfect. Ah, darn it. Couldn't get the reflect. No problem, though. No problem, friend. Catch you later. Okay, all is good. Ah, my timing for the stylish ain't perfect yet. I like the dry bones in the audience, how, like, from the back, they look nothing like the ones I've been fighting. Like, at all. Give him a jump. Give him a bop. I don't think there's too much left of the castle. I always remember, like, each chapter feeling, like, a lot longer than they really are. It's mostly just because, you know, your time to play games is probably a lot more limited as a kid. Select one to upgrade. Okay. Let's go to 20 HP, and then I probably won't upgrade HP for quite a bit. Just want to make sure I'm topped up. Give me that coin. Oops. No. No. Meant to turn out this way. Heck yeah, freedom. Being able to play all the games you want now is awesome. Okay, star piece is over there. We just gotta get over to it. Hang on, did I miss my thing? Okay. I thought it was too bent for me to do that, but it's okay now. I'm gonna walk over and get this first. Yeah, star piece. Okay, now with this, just a little bit further to go. I used to be so bad controlling the airplane as a kid, too. And... Oh, I remember where this is for. 
I'm gonna have to climb back up if I want the badge, though, right? Hmm. I can't even arrange troops for it. For it, yeah. Bit of a pain, but I want it. Last stand, P. Drops damage to half when your ally is in danger. Hardly matters. Was not worth it. I picked up the key, though, so I can jump back. Hold up. Where was... Where did I need the lock? No, it was back up this way. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, that is true. I have never... I have not actually played Bug Fables. Bug Fables is heavily inspired by Paper Mario. They pretty much wanted to make another Thousand Year style game. Or Thousand Year Door style game. I plan to play it sometime. Hang on. There's a lot of indie games, though, that, you know, I want to play, but I just don't always have the time. There we go. There's that life shroom. I totally forgot about that. Let's pick this up. Yeah, it's a free revive if you die. Oh, come on now. That's usually the trend when big company doesn't want to make thing anymore and indie dev just makes it themselves. Just look at Stardew Valley. Oh, it's this one, okay. Look what Stardew Valley did to farming games. There we go. Okay, it's not doesn't take that long to get back up. I assumed I had to climb through too many things. Now let's do this. Go through coops. And then we just gotta get back to the paper airplane spot. Oh, I can walk off that? Kind of thought there was an invisible wall walking forward, but it's whatever. Okay. Luckily, the analog... What? I walked off right as I was saying I was gonna move perfectly straight there. Come on. Come on now. I don't have drift or anything. Just freaking fell. Okay, let's go. And there we go. So I went down. I did get the key, right? I'm reasonably certain I got the key. Yeah, I, I did. Okay. Just making sure. Calling this back up because there's no reason to leave it. Bring out the goom. This is Hooktail Castle. You feel that upward moving draft? Oh, wait, I've been in this... Technically been in this room at the bottom part before, so the dialogue's the same. Are we near the end? I think this is to the way outside, isn't it? Shine Sprite. Oh, yeah, we are getting close to the end. Aw, oh, come on, I jumped up. I wonder if this would be a good time to use one of my flowers, because there is uh, a variety of enemies here. This is exactly why I saved them. Nice. Okay. And now we finish them off. I'm not going to get another level before the boss fight. That's okay. The fun part about going back to games like this when you're an adult is that, like, you remember them being much more difficult, but you've gotten just so much better at games in general that you just breeze through it. Oopsie. To the point where, like, it feels so easy that any tiny mistake makes you feel like you've just, like, ruined everything. Um, let's just knock you down. I can't have you using the dizzy thing. Fire flower for these boys. Okay, nice. Not gonna use flower points. Actually, I should. There's gotta be a heart block at the end anyway, so there's no big deal. I'm just gonna knock this guy out of the sky.
Okay. Mm. There we go. I was more than five, but still got it. The excellent timing gets annoying. I don't think I really have controller delay or anything like that, but it can still be hard to do that even on like actual, you know, how I played it back in the day. Okay. A little extra flower point for our trouble. Mario, take a look at this. It's like you could reach out and touch the sky, huh? Looking out from the heights makes my head go goomy. I mean, uh, goony. Okay, let's do it. All the way to the top. Having a good time. Look at this twisty castle. Ain't that a cool camera angle? Okay. Ah, uh, this is another good time to go ahead and just use a fire flower. It's no good for the boss. You're gonna use that mushroom, but whatever. 5 HP. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Well, no problem. I keep messing up the jump timing when they're like high up in the sky, but it makes no difference at all. Ah, whatever. Let's do this. Got him. You got five star points. Okay, here it is. We're at the end. Castle so much shorter than young me remembers. Let's do it. Who dares approach me? Big Yoshi. Hmm, so you are friends of the strange garbed one who came earlier. I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I prote uh, protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they would, might make a good sauce with some spices. What I'll do is saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you head down, or down head first. Okay, that's just gross. Battle time. Snack time, little appetizers, but which one of you morsels should I taste first? Can't flee from this fight. The toads are here to watch a rumble go down. That's Hooktail. Max HP is 20, attack is 5, defense is 1. It'll stomp and munch on ya, and has more dragonish attack, stinky, fiery breath. It's tricky, especially when it's losing, and it'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, one more thing. It hates things that start with CR and end with Ickit. Supposedly, there's something related to that in the castle. Did we find it? I think maybe we did. Oh, I messed it up the timing? What's wrong with me? Oh, it must have been like a frame off. My muscle memory just went for it. Bleck, that awful sound. Sounds like a cricket. How did you know? Stop that this instant. Oh! I got really bad food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I hate them. Oh, fight it, Hokey. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. Darn. And that lowered her attack power there, right? Pretty sure it did. Now... Should switch back to Koops, honestly. Let me do this for real now. Yeah, there you go. Oh, must not gag my poor tummy. Ugh. 
so very woozy. Got rid of her in the defense as well. Oh, give me a break. The sound was a frog in the original. Really? Why did they change that? That's weird. I mean, I know you mean Japanese version. I'm just kind of confused about that, yeah. Doesn't sound, well, the sound doesn't sound like a frog either. So that's why I'm confused. Stylish. Still dizzy. There we go. Getting power smash now. Okay. Uh, isn't there supposed to be dialogue, or do I have to get the kill first? I won't accidentally skip it like I did with Johnny. Let me just defend. Okay, no, I guess I attack you. Wait, I think I remember what happens next now. Okay, I do kill first, and then it's another phase. Wait! Hold on a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah. Prove it, I'll give you 1,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Keep your coins, fiend. What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins? And how about the lovely rare extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind, and it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Keep it, you cad. Uh, really? Well, I suppose I could apologize. Oh god, I remember this. Oh no. I, by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. People pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now. Really. So, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? That's disgusting! Oh, you aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? That aged very strangely. Good God, did it ever. <laughs> the last one is actually believable. <laughs> no! <laughs> Shut up. Oh, you aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know? Er, I guess I better... Oh, God! That's just not right! Oh, 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 yeah, now my strength has returned to me. I've had enough of this. Let's finish this guy off fast, Mario. Just straight up eats the audience. Whoop. Yeah! This is the only fight where you go down here to f go down here after this, right? Ugh, why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear a cricket? Fourth wall destroyed. Going right into fighting with the audience. Oh, I should have power smashed. Oh, I almost missed that. But I... I... Uh, ow! Why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals! Oh, boy. You think they'll change the dialogue for that part? I, I wonder. We'll just have to see. I did just kill Hooktail. Literally murdered. Wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario. Now all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Uh, uh. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. Whoa, it can't be. Eh? Dad? Hey, y your coops. Hey, son. You've gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me. Wait, I thought Hooktail was a she. I thought, like, like uh, something later in the game refers, uh, refers to it that way. Played a trick on me and gobbled me down whole. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then. Dude! Ten years in there! Okay, it's just a miss, uh, missed dialogue there. And boy, was it nasty. Yuck, I'm so glad to finally get out. <laughs> what were you eating the last ten years, dude? Oh, man. Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried about you we all were? For ten long years, we all thought you'd, you know, we thought your game was over. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, uh, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. Came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wrecking havoc in town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're thinking about or talking about, would it? What's that? I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? Kept it as a souvenir. So, this is the thing you're looking for. Perfect. Just perfect. You can have it. Come on now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Koops' friend. Please take it. Oh yeah. Maybe. Maybe Koops' dad had a bit of those uh mushroom people that Hooktail was snacking on. You got a crystal star, and you learned the special move, Earth Tremor. We did it! Chapter 1 complete. Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Koops even reunited with his long-lost father, whom he thought was dead. Yet, they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. Save all game progress. Oh yeah, now we gotta do this part. What's going on? Oh, great. Exalted Grotus. Grotus? Grotus? How are you supposed to say it? I'm not sure I care enough, though. We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. You can just order those online? Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Rhoda, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that Hooktail creature, you say. Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too, see? According to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario? Excuse me. Mario. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? 
This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long, that I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach, you understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the Crystal Star we're hunting in Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Was that? Oh yeah, sure. Roger, Grotus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. x not. I summon you. You rang, dude? I mean, sir? You rang, Sir Grotus, dude? Grotus? Sir Grotus, sir? Shut up. Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. Uh, shadow Sirens, sir, but they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them now. Gotcha. The Honorable Grotus has need of us. Then we arrive without delay. There she is! <laughs> Pray tell! Did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Beldum. We would already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. Wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you that map is vital to the x not plan? I will have my men prepare all available information of this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. <laughs> there she goes. We're switching around. Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth are gonna be sick again. But, hang on a moment. Where in the world am I? So unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know I've been caught. Okay, let's have a look around now. Hmm, doesn't seem to open. Let's go on a little adventure. Oh, oh. What a lovely shower. No soap scum, even. Wow, wonder if it works. Peach shower! I sure do hope something on a camera isn't watching me. Ah! Hee hee! Any day now, Peach. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. And now my hair is gone. Hmm? What was that? Hey, how old? Or how odd? The doors open by themselves. Weird. Doesn't look like anyone's around. Doesn't work. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. Oh. 
people. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. The T-E-C-X-X. -X. Many call me Tech. You may. I'm gonna call- I call it Tech, not T-E-C. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer. One that is flawless in its reason. Grotus. Wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He's a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering. Why'd you lead me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse spread, uh, sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and their solution was... I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? You know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because... It's just too weird. <laughs> please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand, please. Well, you know, maybe it is possible that while well, you're in love with me. Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love, how do I explain? Love is when you tell, uh, love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness? Fun? I have definitions for these words, but... My programming is inf insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I'm a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I'm unable to grant such a wish, such as letting you escape. What are you, insane? You ex-jerks kidnap me like common Koopas. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? <laughs> Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay. Here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner, the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anyone you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean the keyboard. All right, let me give this a shot. 
Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? Ding ding. The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh... Okay then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. Good night indeed. Save all game progress up to this point? Sure. Why shouldn't I? Your progress was saved. Hey, what's up, Bowser? Got a new castle? The last one blew up in the last game. The Koopa troops are up to it. Hey, what's up, Bowser? Grahar. Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Cammy, Koopa, will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Please, your ghastliness, I have to ask you to wait at the rear of the room. Greetings, your huffiness. The hag Cammy Koopa will be arriving at any moment. So the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Oh, I tell you, the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing, huh? Oh, Lord Bowser! Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. <laughs> I'm not funny, sir. He's not funny, sir. Damn right he's not. Lord Bowser, I've been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you as you please, you sur your surliness. Blech. Uh, super. In that case, I'll order you to do some sit-ups, Tubby. Wow! Wow, that's just rude. That's just rude, Bowser. What the hell? Hail, Lord Bowser! Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Here we go. There's a painting of me on the wall, too. Ah, Lord Bowser. I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <sighs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what, he, what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord. Apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing, amazing treasure. T treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of a star-shaped jewel known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them. Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Uh... Sure? Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. What a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario recon, I stopped by a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs, toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Airhead? A picnic? You moron! This is no time for fun! See, this is why my evil plans always derail, because you clods always goof off. Ugh. 
Oh dear. Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. Hmm? What's that? Mumble. What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach from Rogueport. A what? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport now. I gotta kidnap her back. Oh boy. In the clown copter we go. I'm just gonna burst right through the wall. But your grunginess, wait up! And there we go. Save all game progress up to this point. And the Bowser section is now done. Hey, back to Pedalburg. Coops, my lad. Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm gonna continue traveling with Mario. Then I'm, well, I'm gonna come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely, eh, bleh. Nicely said, young Coops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Coops, and I am your father. Coops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting. For you to prove yourself. Ahem. May I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Coops. Don't ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Oh, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario... The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it, eh, unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the books say. Which means if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand-year door, so that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map. Exactly. Come on, let's go. There we go. Yeah, chat, y'all are having a weird conversation. Maybe stop that. Hit the save block. There we go. Koops is now a friend. Hang on, you know what I, I need to do? I need to use Tattle on Koops' dad. Ah, there he is. Take care of young Koops, will you, Mario? I'm looking forward to the day my boy comes home a full-grown Koopa. That's Koops' dad, Koopley. He has a name? I didn't know he had a name. He seems kind of out of it. Are all Koopas space cadets? And again, Koops is really with it. Maybe that's because his dad is like this. Anyway, Koopley does worry about Koops a lot. Though I guess he's a good dad after all. That man had a name this whole time and I had no idea. Let me grab this. Mega Rush P. There we go. Okay. Let's head back there now. Are there any more Goombas along the way? Oh, hang on. Mario, you okay? You're totally shaking. You need the bathroom? Oh, is that a mailbox SP? Cool, with the light? Hey, who's that mail from? My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find the objects they call the Crystal Stars. 
I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. Thank you, Dylan. Mario, please collect these crystal stars before they do. You must. They are already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please don't worry about me, Princess Peach. Wow, wait a second. Isn't that from Princess Peach? THE princess? That means she's okay. At least she's not hurt. But sounds like whoever kidnapped Princess Peach is also after the Crystal Stars. Now Nintendo still puts their consoles in games. Oops, I did twist around there weirdly. Hang on, do I have anything for this? I can, nah, I'll save the POW block, it's not a big deal. Swap partner. Pikmin 4 had a Game Boy Advance SP, didn't it? I haven't played Pikmin 4 yet, so I don't know for sure. Oh, hang on. I need to take off the Cricket Badge now, or I'm gonna keep hearing this annoying sound. Hang on. I can never remember which shortcut is which. Okay, that should be good. Hang on, I can just throw a power shell over there. At this point, I may as well head back to Rogueport and save, because I've been going uh, close to four hours now. This is probably the best place to stop and switch games. There we go. Bounce on that friend. Hang on, I'm just trying to fix something down here. Okay, I'm good. These guys are only given two a pop, but hey, I may as well take them out while I can. There's a few different things I could pick up in Rogue Port, but I don't need it right this second. Luigi did have a Game Boy Color in Luigi's Mansion. I don't know if he has them in, like, Luigi's Mansion 2. And I just, like, accidentally slipped off the controller there. Oops. Gimme gimme! Today's stream did fly by, heck yeah. Oh, hang on. Just grab that right there. Did he have a 3DS in Dark Moon? That would make sense. Am I hearing something in the background? I can't quite tell. The Peach and Bowser sections can take quite a while to get through. Ah, oh, darn it. I always think I can make it. I always think I can make it the first time. Oh, now I'm gonna wait. Wait for it. Perfect. Did he have a Virtual Boy in one? I don't recall there being a Virtual Boy. Is that in three? Virtual Boy is more like a headset, though, so... Oh my god, I can't believe- I can't believe I just whiffed that. Reading dialogue for a few moments made me have to just mess up my timing. That's what's going on. No problem, though. Next thing I need to do is head down to Thousand Year Door again. But there's a save block over here. This is probably the best spot. Perfect. Saving game, your progress was saved. Okay, so this will be our first part for Thousand Year Door. I had a good time with this. It really flew by. Four freaking hours there. Okay, let's go ahead and stop recording now, though. I'll pick this up, maybe continue streaming this in a couple days. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you had fun. Have a good night, and bye-bye.